mammal reptile hybrids to the infamous Montauk monster. Here are 13 bizarre creatures explained. 13. Purple Primate A South African teenager found an unusual corpse in a small village in 2013. The creature had mummified purplish skin and an elongated torso and limbs that made it look like a bizarre version of Mr. Fantastic. Thanks to its unusual physical traits, including its shriveled head and enormous teeth, many villagers were ready to proclaim the corpse as evidence of extraterrestrial life, or at the very least, the hybrid offspring of a monkey and a seal. But a local veterinarian crushed those theories by proclaiming that, quote, anyone could see it was a baby baboon, end quote. Now, the vet claimed the animal's strange shape and apparent mummification was caused by it being carried around by its mother after it had died. 12. The Elmendorf Beast Of course, the Chupacabra is that legendary cryptid that is said to have been sighted in Puerto Rico and in the U.S., Texas in particular. Its name means goat sucker, and it has a rep for attacking and killing livestock. And more often than not, it's described as having the appearance of a canid creature, often compared to a wild dog. So maybe it's no surprise that when a strange dog-like creature was found responsible for mauling more than 30 chickens in Elmendorf, Texas, it was labeled as a chupacabra. It was killed by a farmer in 2004, and it did appear to be a dog or coyote-type animal that was hairless and had bluish-gray skin. So what exactly was the Elmendorf beast? Well, DNA evidence revealed that it was a coyote with mange. 11. Weird Sea Beast When Hurricane Harvey hit the U.S. in 2017, it resulted in one of the country's worst natural disasters. Southwest Texas was among the area's hardest hit, and along with the damage, a mystery washed ashore in Texas City near Galveston. It was the corpse of a sea beast that had fangs but no face and offered very little clue as to what it might have been. Experts circulated a picture of the creature and asked for the public's help in identifying it. Now, some guesses included the animal being a gulper eel, a bloated moray eel, and of course, plenty of people conjectured it was some sort of alien life form. Well, the best guess from a marine biologist is that the critter was a fangtooth snake eel fish that can be found in the Gulf of Mexico, among other waters. Now, they can grow to nearly three feet long, and the eyes and snout are typically exposed. 10. Montana Mystery Creature Now, if you mention dire wolf these days, you'll probably think of the animals that pop up on Game of Thrones. But the real-life versions are among the most famous prehistoric carnivores ever. About the size of the largest modern-day gray wolves, these creatures went extinct about 9,000 years ago. Or did they? The small town of Denton, Montana experienced a mysterious wolf-like creature stalking the livestock until it was killed by a rancher. Now, upon examination, the animal had a physiology that suggested that while it was a carnid, it was not a wolf at all. And once the story hit social media, there were all types of wild guesses as to the creature's identity, including that it might be a lost species of dire wolf that survived until the present day. Other guesses suggested that it might be some sort of wolf-dog hybrid. But so far, nothing has been determined for sure as regarding just what this animal truly may have been. What do you think? 9. Prehistoric Russian Fish in 2007, the discovery of some mysterious prehistoric fish in a Russian pond made some news. The unidentified creature appeared in a flooded ditch at a construction site in Chelyabinsk. Workers at the site claimed that when they threw food into the ditch, they could see the creature moving towards it. After attempting to bring the animal out of the water, it tried to bite him, whereupon the workers killed it with some nearby equipment. The creature's size was estimated at around five feet long, an estimate that, as it turned out, was greatly exaggerated. Experts identified the creature as a triops, small crustaceans noted for being living fossils due to a lineage that stretches back nearly 300 million years. They're also noted for having a disturbingly close resemblance to those facehugger creatures in those alien movies. 8. The Beast of Tenby 
When the picture of a bloated creature found on the beaches of Tenby in West Wales was posted to social media in 2013, it reached more than 65,000 people within hours of appearing online. Now, the man who took the picture said he was walking his dog along the beach when he stumbled upon the carcass. He claimed the critter had claws like a bear and the body of a pig. Now, guesses as to the creature's identity range from it being a sea lion or hippo to a dog or a badger. But the creature's identity may never be known for sure. The carcass is thought to have washed back out to sea. 7. In 2006, the skeleton of what some thought might have been a prehistoric plesiosaur was found by soldiers on the shores of Sakhalin Island in eastern Russia. It had a body that measured around 20 feet long and had sharp teeth and fur. Its appearance caused enough concern that the Russian special forces were called in to remove the remains and conduct an in-depth study on the creature. Photos of the mysterious animal revealed it once had a mouth that resembled that of a crocodile and had some sharp teeth too. But tests on the teeth and bones showed that the animal was not a fish, or a crocodile for that matter, and it didn't turn out to be a lost plesiosaur. Now, this myth was actually dispelled after marine experts determined the creature was actually a beluga whale. 6. Trunko now here is a mystery that persists to this very day. The nickname Tronco refers to an animal that was reportedly sighted in Margate, South Africa in 1924. The creature supposedly looked like a polar bear, and after fending off a couple of killer whales, it managed to lift itself out of the water by some 20 feet. It remained beached for 10 days, apparently exhausted from its struggles. But during all that time, the animal was never investigated by a scientist. Some estimates have placed the animal at around 47 feet long, 5 feet high, and 10 feet wide. Attached to its torso was a trunk-like appendage that measured about 5 feet long and inspired the nickname. It was also said to have had white fur and a lobster-like tail. And nearly two weeks later, the creature supposedly swam back to the ocean and was never seen again. Because it was never officially identified, the debate still continues as to just what kind of a critter Trunko really was. 5. The Crocolo Mystery In 2015, an extremely unusual creature turned up in High Rock, a remote village in Thailand. Now, this monstrosity had a body that was similar to that of a buffalo, but it also had physical traits that were similar to a reptile, including skin with scales and an elongated head and snout that seemed distinctly crocodile-like in appearance. Villagers claimed the animal was delivered from a buffalo in a litter that contained healthy calves, but this one is said to have died shortly after it was born. The villagers later placed the animal on a table that was festooned with incense and candles in the hope that it might bring them good luck. Now, was it really a buffalo-crocodile hybrid or crocolo? Well, most experts say the creature was a deformed buffalo calf whose skin was burned soon after it was born. 4. A doggone mystery. Would you believe this bizarre-looking creature was left at somebody's doorstep? Well, some people thought it might have been a baby extraterrestrial that was left behind for adoption. Well, I don't believe all that chatter, because we just made that story up. Well, while the critter does look bizarre, we are pretty positive that this one is in fact a newborn canine. But, in all honesty, it is still unidentified as far as what this doggo's particular breed might be. Now, if you know, then be sure to bark at us in the comments below. 3. The Panama Creature now, this one goes by a few other names, including the Blue Hill Horror and the Cerro Azul Monster. Both names are a reference to the small Panamanian town of Cerro Azul, which translates to English as Blue Hill. In 2009, a group of teenagers claimed to have discovered and subsequently killed this creature after it emerged from a nearby cave and approached them. The group's photos of the hairless albino beast quickly went viral and inspired a lot of speculation as to the critter's species. Was it a mutant or some sort of undiscovered animal? Or could it have been that favorite standby, some sort of an extraterrestrial? 
while after recovering the corpse from a pool several days later, a biopsy confirmed that the animal was in fact a male sloth. Being submerged underwater had accelerated its hair loss and caused the body to bloat, which added to its unusual appearance. 2. Now here was an odd animal that had whitish gray skin and a head that was disproportionately large for its small body. The creature was discovered in 2007 by some local ranchers in Metepec, Mexico. Its bizarre appearance invited comparisons to those gray extraterrestrials that pop up in alien abduction cases. And in fact, the rancher sold their discovery to a UFO enthusiast who was confident he had obtained a genuine extraterrestrial. Now, of course, it could also have been an animal skeleton that had somehow been altered, or even some type of a model. While some DNA tests proved inconclusive, forensics experts in the UK performed a deep analysis on the specimen and finally determined the so-called alien was in fact a deceased tufted marmoset monkey. It had actually been obtained by one of the ranchers at a zoo where he worked. But even though the truth is out there regarding the sham, there's still plenty of people who think the Metepec mystery is still unsolved. How about you? One, the Montauk Monster. Now this one is a longtime favorite of cryptozoologists, and likely it's the most famous name on the list. Pictures of the Montauk Monster in New York went viral in 2008 and provoked all types of speculation as to what the bizarre looking critter might be. A lot of people thought it was some sort of animal hybrid, including a type of mutated sea turtle that had lost its shell, or even an eagle crossbred with a dog. How about that one? Other speculation included the animal being a rodent or some unknown species of sheep. But in the opinion of most experts, the Montauk monster was actually the decomposing carcass of a raccoon. However, that carcass is said to have mysteriously vanished. So, there's still a lot of people out there who do not buy that particular explanation. 